right, welcome to week six. We are going to have two sets of labs this week. The first one will be very quick. It's just a quick um, review. So we will review what we learned last week and the previous weeks by beginning the lab for this week. So you do need to do both of them. And this one, the review one, is really just a review. So I've already... Um, I've already downloaded my week six folder and I've chosen file open and navigated to that folder and here I am. So I'm going to start with the picture frame practice and let's take a look at what we have here. We've got an index.html that's right here and there's also an index.fr.html. It's the same thing but in French. I'll explain why we have that later. We also have some assets and images. Uh, the images look like this. Let's see, we'll look at this one first. You can see that's just a long horizontal image, something that might need to repeat up and down, right? It's got a piece of wood over here and a red background, another piece of wood over here and more red background, but there's a shadow here. Uh, we've got something called list line. We've got butter five, butter four, butter three, Butter 1. I don't know where Butter 2 went, but we'll see what we can figure out on that. And then we've got something called Bottom. That looks like the bottom of the picture frame. Uh, oh, and there's the top of the picture frame. So top, mid, and bottom. Uh, and then I have a folder here called Directions. That is right here. So I've got steps one through six here. You can see I've got just GIFs of what I want you to do on each step. And we'll work through these steps together. And the final result will look something like this. You can see it's still imperfect. So we'll pick up on the second set of lab instructions for this week on formalizing it. Um, so let's start. Uh, step one, let's figure out what we need to do first. Get the mid background image on the page. Repeat it downwards. Uh, so that means that'll be a Y repeat, right? Remember X is side to side and Y is top to bottom. So let's look at the index.html. We've already looked at the images and I think we know right by now you're going to start with these style tags. This week, in the second set of lab instructions, I'll show you how to do a different way of setting up your styles. This week, it's internal. This lab, it's internal. And in the next lab, it will be an external <clears throat> style sheet. So let's begin with the body selector. And let's get that background image on background image and we want to go to the URL and this is going to be the mid right so I'm looking for mid there it is save my code and let's take a peek at it uh, control open in default browser there it is so that little flash you saw was what it looked like I probably should have shown it to you before but the only difference is now this text has all of this background on it. But it is repeating up and down because remember it looked like it looked like this. And now what we have is this. So it's repeating up and down, but it's also repeating oops, side to side. Oh, I didn't mean to enlarge that. It's also repeating side to side. You can see that over here on the right side, this has begun again. On our version. So we need to set up the background repeat. And I think you'll remember how to do that. Background repeat. And this time we're going to say repeat Y. We haven't done that yet. Save and refresh. So now it's repeating up and down, but not side to side. Let's look again at step one. Is there something else we needed to do? Yes. We need to get this red background so that the red will continue. See, this is what it looks like now. We need that red to continue. So let's put on a uh, color. Oh, yeah, color. And it's going to be, what did it say? Oh, I didn't remember it. 
uh, B51E3D. Hashtag B51E3D. I always do my colors um, save and refresh. Oh, that was the text color. See, there was an easy mistake, easy mistake to make. This should say background color. Background hyphen color. Save and refresh. There we go. That looks great. So the second part of step one, no, that's all of step one. Let's look at step two. Step two is to put a border under the H1. So we know a few things about border, but there's a few things you might not remember from last lab. So let's put that on. We are gonna say on the H1 as a selector, border semicolon one pixel is that what it said step two one pixel dotted and six six f always having to check that uh, one px space dotted space pound six six f was that what it was save and refresh mm doesn't quite look like it because this has a border top and bottom, left and right. So what did we want here on that border? Just underneath. So we're going to say border bottom. Save and refresh. All right, we've completed step two. Now let's do a little uh, cleaning up of our code. In the same way that we did 1px, skip a space, dotted, skip a space, and our color, let's do the same thing to this. So we're going to combine these three. I'll do it all new. Um, and I will comment this. Oops. <laughs> there we go comment that and we're just going to say background. So the first thing we want to put in is the URL. That's what we did first. Copy and paste. And then we skip a space and put in the repeat Y. Copy. Skip a space. No, actually remember the color is going to go first. Copy and let's get that before the URL. Skip a space. Save and refresh and it should look exactly the same. Alright, let's do steps three and four next and then we'll do five and six.